There's a few different ways of creating a rubber hose rig, and they're all found underneath the build menu. The first option is new rubber hose. When you click this button, you'll be prompted to give the hose a name as well as labels for the start and end controllers. When you click OK, rubber hose will generate three shape layers, one for the hose and two for the controllers. These two controller layers are set to guide layers so they won't render. Right away you can click and drag the controllers to interact with the bend system that drives the hose. A hose works like an IK system but is much more flexible. As you extend the hose beyond its maximum length, the controllers change color, indicating that the hose is stretching. You can modify the length of the hose by selecting the end controller and changing the hose length property in the effect controls. Realism softens the transition between a straightened and bent hose. Increasing the realism to 100% causes the length of each section of the hose to add up to the total hose length. However, a side effect of this is a harsher transition between the straight and bent hose shapes. Decreasing the realism softens that transition and makes it less noticeable. Since the hose is made up of a shape layer with a stroke applied, its thickness and color can be modified in the toolbar or inside the shape layer contents. Other properties of the hose shape can be modified in the rubber hose bend effect found on the end controller layer. Slide determines where the bend is placed along the hose. Roundness determines the shape of the bend. And Direction controls the orientation of the bend. One of the most powerful features of Rubber Hose 3 is the ability to add multiple bends along a hose. Simply duplicate the Rubber Hose Bend effect, modify the slide, and the hose now has two bends. The slide, roundness, and direction properties modify their corresponding bend along the hose. You can easily remove any bend simply by deleting the corresponding bend effect. Learn more about multiple bends in the Bend System video. Since shape layers are used to drive the start and end of the hose, other layers may be parented to them. This character's artwork is made from illustrator layers. I'd like to replace the limbs with hoses, so I'll generate a new rubber hose and name it left arm, and choose the controller labels shoulder and wrist for the start and end. I'll click OK, and reposition the controllers so that they align with the character's shoulder and wrist. Next, I'll modify the hose length, direction, and roundness until it aligns with the arm. Then I'll modify the stroke width and color to match. I'll rearrange the layer order, disable the original art, and parent the hand artwork to the wrist controller layer. And just like that, I have a rigged arm. The second option for creating a rubber hose is using Path to Hose. Since this character is made up of Illustrator artwork, I can right-click on any one of these layers, choose Create, Shapes from Vector Layer, and After Effects will convert that artwork into a shape layer. This layer is made up of a single path with a stroke applied. So with that layer selected, I'll click on Path to Hose, name this limb Right Arm with the Shoulder and Wrist Controller labels, and click OK. Rubber Hose will recreate that path using a hose and align the bend to the point on the path. Again, I'll parent the hand to the wrist controller, and my second arm is now rigged. You can also draw a hose path directly in After Effects. With the pen tool active, I'll trace a path along this leg, being sure to add a point where I want the bend to be for the knee. It's important to note that the path to hose function places bends at points between the start and end of the path. If only two points are used to draw a limb, no bends will be generated on the hose. I'll modify the stroke to be the correct thickness and use the eyedropper to choose the correct color. Then I'll go into the shape contents and round off the caps and joins. With the path layer selected, I'll click Path to Hose, name this Left Leg, choose the hip and ankle controller labels, and click OK. Rubber Hose traces that path using settings that best approximate the way the path was drawn. Any difference between the original path and the resulting hose is likely due to the realism property. Simply modify the realism or adjust the hose length to match the artwork more closely. Easily adjust any setting to taste, reposition the controllers to match the artwork, and rearrange the shape layer order so that it stacks with the rest of the character art. 
The next method for rigging in rubber hose is rubber rig, which allows you to create a bend system from a parent chain of at least three layers, even if they're not shape layers. This character was drawn in Photoshop, and his layers couldn't easily be recreated using shape layers, which makes it a perfect candidate for rubber rig. I'll start with the right arm and solo the three layers that make up that limb. The first thing I need to do is reposition the anchor points over the joints of this limb. I'll use the anchor point tool to do this, checking that the rotation of each layer looks correct. Next, I'll create a parent chain between the three layers, parenting the hand to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm. With the last layer in the parent chain selected, I'll click New Rubber Rig and name the limb. I'll choose Shoulder and Wrist for the controller labels and click OK. Rubber Hose will now rig these three layers using the same Rubber Hose controls as the previous two methods, instantly creating a bend system for the limb complete with stretching. You can reposition and rotate any of these layers while preserving the underlying bend system, which is being driven by two bone layers parented to a hose. All of the same rubber hose controls are available under the end controller layer. Freely adjust the hose length, realism, slide, and direction. The roundness property is the only value that will not affect your artwork, as rubber rig is only scaling the layers and not bending them. By default, the last layer in the parent chain will automatically rotate with the bend direction of the hose. In addition, rotating the end controller also affects this layer. You can disable the auto-rotation of the end layer by selecting it and unchecking auto-rotate. There may be instances where you want to use character artwork as controllers for a hose. We can do this by using the exact same rigging process, repositioning the anchor points, creating a parent chain and selecting the last layer in that chain, and simply holding the shift key while clicking the new rubber rig button. This will exclude the end of the parent chain, resulting in a two-layer bend system that does not affect the last layer in the parent chain. This allows the end controller to be parented to another layer, like the shoe artwork, which now acts as the driver for the end of this hose. Note that there is no auto-rotation functionality when using this method. Rubber Rig is both a flexible and powerful rigging system. It can be used to quickly rig a character from any type of layer. The Rubber Pin Bend system unlocks the potential of the puppet tool in After Effects and allows for more flexible and custom distortions when rigging custom artwork. The puppet tool works best with raster layers or pre-composed shape layers. Applying the puppet tool directly to shape layers or continuously rasterized vector layers may produce undesirable results. To use Rubber Pin, start by adding puppet pins to your artwork. Place pins in order, starting at the base of the layer and working your way outward. There's no set number of puppet pins required to use rubber pin, but the number of pins used does affect the look of the distortion. For this example, I'm going to use five pins evenly distributed along the layer. Once the pins are placed, click the new rubber pin button, type in a name, and select controller labels. A basic hose will be generated, and the puppet pins will be parented to the hose. This hose is identical to the basic rubber hose and has all of the same controls. Modify any of the hose properties to realign your artwork. The hose length and realism may need to be adjusted to return to the original look of your artwork. To easily reference the artwork prior to the distortion being applied, disable and re-enable the puppet effect to see a before and after. Pin effects have also been applied to the artwork layer, and each have a percentage value that correspond to a position on the hose. These percentages can also be used to realign your artwork. The hose is just a guide layer and can be disabled at any time, while still maintaining the ability to parent layers to that hose using the parent to hose function. To disconnect pins from a hose, select the artwork using the puppet tool and shift click on the rubber pin button. Depending on the type of distortion you need, more or less pins might be necessary, and the addition of starch pins can help remove unwanted distortion on specific parts of the layer. In the first example, five puppet pins were used, and the roundness value was increased to 100% which resulted in a curved distortion matching the roundness of the hose. In the second example, only three position pins are used, and the roundness value of the bend is set to 0%. This still produces a curve even though the roundness is set to 0, although the appearance of the curve is not that pleasing. To match the angles of the hose more closely, add starch pins on either side of the elbow. This preserves more of the rigidity of the underlying hose, and adding more starch pins to the same mesh can affect the appearance of the distortion.
In this example, five position pins were used, as well as two starch pins on either side of the elbow, which more closely distorts the artwork to the underlying hose and produces a more pleasing bend at the elbow. Try adding more or less puppet pins and experiment with the placement of starch pins to shape the distortion to your needs. Rubber pin also works with multiple bends. Just like the standard rubber hose, simply duplicate the bend effect or click the Add Bend button and modify the bend properties. Combining rubber pin with multiple bends allows you to mimic complex anatomy and shape custom distortions on any type of artwork. When paired with Void, a free script from Battleaxe, the puppet tool can be used to rig entire characters and works side by side with Rubber Hose 3. Add as many puppet pins as necessary to the artwork layer, reveal the pins by pressing U, select all of the pins, and click the Void button. Void layers will be generated for each pin, and now act as parents for those pins. These void layers will adopt the naming of the puppet pins, so it's good practice to name the pins prior to running the void script. Using Rubber Hose 3 and Void together allows you to create complex and completely customized character rigs.